Hi, this is Paul and I'm the developer of the Octane Render for Poser plugin. This is a quick tutorial on the new feature coming up in the next release of the plugin, which is the Node Graph Material. So this will be in version 2.24.1.60, which will be available in a couple of hours. So this is the start scene here with Andy and uh, ev everything is uh, absolutely untouched here. I've just uh, opened the window and you can see Andy rendering in the viewport there. So the new part of the, oh, I'll actually just zoom in on him a little. So the new part that has been added is in the materials. You'll see that normally uh, Andy's body converts to this octane material here. Um, and at the moment he's got quite a dark diffuse color but if we lighten that up you can see it's reflected in the viewport there so if we click on the material there is a new checkbox called the node graph so when we tick that the material gets replaced with a node graph material so then when we click the edit button the octane no graph gets presented to us and you'll see this is basically the octane standalone node graph so we can edit the color as you can see there and as we edit anything in this node graph it appears in the viewport under that material so the important bit is this material out node and this is the link that the plugin uses to plug into the geometry here. So for example, we can change it from a glossy to a specular, for example. Um, we can change it to diffuse. Uh, you can do pretty much anything you can do in the normal plugin, but it's using this node graph layout here. So we can add a uh, let's add a checks into the diffuse and then we can change the scale and you can see that that's all updating live in the viewport there so this is just another means of editing materials you might find that it's easier to set up very very complex materials in this node graph and it, it may be easier than using the tree structure uh, and an example of this might be, um, for example, a hair shader or a skin shader. Now there are some limitations. Uh, when you have this node graph, if you, uh, you, you can't copy and paste it to another material uh, and bring across the texture maps, or sorry, uh, retain the texture maps, um, you can't load a live DB material into that node graph uh, via the, the normal menu commands. Um, so it, it's treated as a material in isolation, um, but as time goes on, we'll be able to add more uh, functionality to it. So um, that is retained even when the viewport is closed. And then when we next open the viewport, you'll see that um, um, it, it, it's kept there. And similarly, if you save the file, um, it's saved uh, in the uh, PZ3 file. If you then want to Re revert back from the node graph to a normal material you can just unclick that checkbox and you'll see that it just reverts back to uh, it, it reconverts the material from poser um, and you get back to the old tree view here so hopefully that gives you a very quick rundown on the new feature and I hope it will be very useful for people and uh, I'd love to hear he feedback thanks for listening and watching